video, I've said it in previous videos as well, my goal is, when I leave this reality, I want to have still, have my full physical strength, for the most part, and not really be in any kind of pain that I will choose when I decide to leave. I will not be forced, I will not get any horrible disease, horrible health issue. I want to be able to explore this earth, have the strength in my body to do so. I know I feel weird about saying this, but I don't feel my strength is even one ounce diminished since I was younger. I still have it all. And I know I feel weird saying this because there's so much out there in the world that tries to tell us we're supposed to get old, we're supposed to get weaker, and I don't see that happening to me. So, I'm not buying into that. People are not really supposed to get weaker. You're not supposed to lose all your testosterone at age 40. You're not, that's all hype. I can still hike just as much as I did when I was 20 years old. I have not lost one ounce of strength or energy since I've been younger. I don't take any vitamins, I don't take any supplements, I don't drink energy drinks. You know, I don't need to sound like this. The reason why I'm world is because it shows that what they're putting on us is all BS about getting old, getting weaker. I'm not getting any weaker. Personally. Anybody that spent time hiking with me knows that. Clearly see them. The reason why I'm telling the world is because I want people to realize if I can do it, anybody else can do it. Anybody else can enjoy a life free of pain. Not just good health, but a life free of pain, a physical pain. I'm not in any ever in any real physical pain. Even when I was kayaking, yeah, I pulled my shoulder a little bit. I had hurt that shoulder ten years ago. And back then it took months to get better. This time, it was better in two days. It was already gone. Pain from it was already gone. realize is we're being brainwashed into thinking that getting old means getting weaker, getting Alzheimer's disease, getting this disease, getting that disease, having to take all kinds of medicine, all kinds of prescriptions.
bottom line, though, however, is a healthy mind leads to a healthy body. I have always committed myself to learning more about the mind, how it works, how I can clear my mind of blockages. I have been doing this all my life. And that is why I'm where I am now with but what I'm saying is that I'm not special. Anybody could achieve this. By committing yourself to learning, committing yourself to learning to release the pain that you have in your, your younger years. And I have done that all my life in various ways. My goal is to enjoy the remainder of my life. Perhaps maybe that clock illustration is correct. Because I feel like I'm 20 years old. I still do. My feelings and energy have not changed. The energy level hasn't gone down. As you can see, the size of this area is this lake was immense at one time. I covered this. This area was under hundreds of feet of water in the past. And the climate was different. This is a huge lake. I covered this entire region. That's the reason why everything looks as it looks here. This was once the bottom of this lake. And that's what I want to spend the remainder of my life doing, exploring places. Learning more about this earth. Being in tune with it. And that is part of what I had inadvertently done with myself. I tap into the energy of the earth, the surroundings, probably without even fully realizing it. That is why I've always been drawn to nature. There is so much energy around us that we can tap into. If we would allow ourselves to be open to it. But of course, our bodies have to be strong enough to handle the energy. Why we have to take care of ourselves if our body is not strong enough to handle it, it's going to kill us.